Hey, thanks for watching Science with Mike. Today, we're going to generate acetylene and do underwater fireworks. And it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be all kinds of fun. That's a science pun. And I'm disappointed in myself. Acetylene used to be light sources before electricity for like lighthouse beacons. Cave explorers still use it, miners. What you do is you take this stuff called calcium carbide, put it in water. It generates acetylene, which is this molecule right here. And it's a very reactive molecule. It burns, but it also reacts with lots of other things. Like today, we're going to do it with chlorine. And that's because of this triple bond. Triple bonds, very unstable. Why don't we go and uh, burn some acetylene tomorrow? <laughs> How'd you go in there right now? Got my safety glasses on. Now we're gonna generate some acetylene with calcium carbide. It looks like little rocks. And if I take a little bit, put it in this test tube, you'll see that gas is coming out. That's too much gas coming out. Oh well, let's light it anyhow. I can use one little teeny piece of calcium carbonate right there. And we're gonna light it just like a Cave Explorer does. And if you can see this soot coming off, there, there you see it. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Bad flame. <laughs> ah, clean, clean flame. Notice, give it enough air. Let's do that again. Whoa, there's an acetylene flame right there. All that dirty, dirty, dirty soot. You can clean it up right now. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we put chlorine and acetylene together underwater. It's going to be an exothermic reaction happening in bubbles, and it'll be exciting. Okay, now first of all, the reason you're watching a video and not doing this at home is because this is bleach, which is the household chemical that is actually responsible for most of the accidental poisonings in the United States and everywhere. So don't be putting the wrong thing in the bleach. You're going to make chlorine gas. If you breathe chlorine gas, it was what was in mustard gas in World War I. So, but I'm going to do it in here in the fume hood. Things should be relatively safe. I've got an Erlenmeyer flask, and I'm going to take about 100 milliliters of some bleach. And then I'm going to add to it hydrochloric acid, about 10 milliliters. This is pretty strong hydrochloric acid. It's six moles per liter, which is about 60 times, what the heck with that, about 60 times the strength of your stomach acid. Then what I'm gonna do, when I add this, we're gonna start making chlorine gas. I'm gonna stopper it. We're gonna see bubbles of first air, and then chlorine start to emerge from that. And that's when I'm going to add some calcium carbide, turn the lights out, and we'll get some underwater fireworks going on. Put the hydrochloric acid in there. You see that bubbling? That is chlorine gas. You might be able to see a bit of green. It's actually greenish in color. Got to push all the air out first. Add the calcium carbide, which is going to make the acetylene. I think I should probably go for it right now. But once that becomes more chlorine, we'll start to see some flashes of light. That's the energy that's produced. I'm going to put some more acid in. Those were famous last words, I'm sure. All right, enough of this. All right, this is what we call in science, it didn't work yet. Uh, we're going to add some more more calcium carbide. Quick, a little bit more acid in here. Yeah, there we go. Got to get the air out of there. It's kind of like Atlantis' Independence Day. <laughs> All right, hey, remember, don't add the wrong thing to bleach unless you got a fume hood. And uh, don't actually don't do that at all. Don't ever make chlorine gas on your own. Thanks for watching Science with Mike. Peace out. <laughs>